Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I thought I would take you along with me and my daughter. We're gonna be shopping at a few different places. Five Below, Dollar Tree, and where else Emma? Dollar Tree, Five Below. Oh, PetSmart. We're going to stop at PetSmart and get our puppy, Bella. Actually, gonna get her Maybe a toy and a few treats. Anywho, we're gonna take you along and hope you'll have fun. So let's get. No matter how our lives will be, I'll tell you I won't tell you to leave. Yeah, I'll keep on standing here. I'm hopeful, so hopeful, dear. Ten years and still not there We'll end the chase, we've won the race We'll have our kids that we will raise And y'all will be here with me With a man With the language of my heart So we never get to talk things over Oh, but something you said in the dark Illuminated your heart And just like that the whole thing changed Something I saw in your car Showed me the person you are And set the monster free from its cage So when I say I'm happy for you, babe I'm just happy that we went our separate ways And when I say that I'm thinking of you, babe I just wonder if you learn from your mistakes I don't think 
think she's allergic. I'm gonna see if I can figure out this camera situation, folks. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so we just uh, left out of PetSmart. We just picked up, let me see. What did we get her? We got her. We got her this. We got Bella. Some biscuits. We, get Bella. we also got bag of tennis balls for Bella girl. And we're not done yet. We're gonna head on over to Five Below. So drop in the Dollar Tree for a few things, and then uh, I guess we'll see you over there. All right. Listen. Was a mad my hair is a mess five five below was complete madhouse up in that place today i don't know why but ever wasn't it emma mm -hmm. and then they changed the store around on me so i had to it took me a little longer in there anyways um we are off to dollar tree and let's see if me and emma can stay focused and not spend a bazillion dollars in dollar tree we will see it's 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 very hard for me and emma not to walk out Right, Emma? Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's go ahead and head on out to the local Dollar Tree. Mm-mm. 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 You know, I mean, like, a dollar. Like. All right. It is hot up in here. I don't even know why I have a coat on, folks. What is this, the clown car? I got five different jackets on. Five different. All right. We are off to the Dollar Tree. Let me turn on the radio, folks. We are off to the Dollar Tree. I'm no longer sweating. 
like a pig. Why did I wear a coat? It's like 50 degrees out. Like, seriously? All right, so some people. People enjoy the presence of people who are different. Wise words from my daughter, folks. <laughs> Emma, look. This is You're wise, though. What comes out of you, what the, the knowledge that spews out of your... Out of a 12-year-old amazes me. Like... I'm getting me some raisinets. I'm starving for this. I, do you guys ever get hungry where you're so hungry that by the time you want to eat something, you feel nauseated? That's about where I am, folks. That's why we're going to go through the McDonald's drive-thru again. Yay! I don't know if there's going to be any deep thoughts today because... Anyhow, so I hope everybody's having a fabulous day to McDonald's, good old McDonald's, good old Mickey D's, go grab us some fries, some fries, okay folks, now you know, if you watched my last shot with me, did you know that a small fry, like the size that you would get in a McDonald's Happy Meal is two bucks, like seriously? But it was two dollars and nineteen cents the last time I was here. Mm -hmm. Let's get real on the drive through again, folks. I suffer from I swear, if I talk any faster, I could be an auctioner. I mean, if I could talk any faster and get the words to make sense, I would be a fanta fantastic auctioner. So, pardon me. Pardon the hair. I didn't flat iron it. I didn't flat iron my hair or anything. I, I, I just, on those days, folks, I, I just, I'm not a fashionista. What can I say? I'm not a fashionista. But anyhow, I want to talk about depression because only like 20% of the population is not depressed. And you're very fortunate if you aren't depressed. <laughs> Um, I go through spells where it would be like a couple days and I just won't want to do anything that I would normally want to do. I just would rather curl up in my bed and close my eyes and take me away to dreamland. That's how I get when I'm depressed. Uh, I also suffer from anxiety, which, by the way, causes enough trauma in my life because the anxiety man it's hard to deal with I mean one second I'm gonna order my food I'm order my food oh, um yes can I get um two medium fries Medium fry, 10 feet, 772, first window. Awesome. Alright. Alright. Back to our subject. I've been feeling it, folks. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't done my IGTV videos in a couple weeks. I, I've just been on a depression uh, Now I'm not going to get all personal up on here, but I'm going to tell you I suffer. I suffer from depression and there's going to be days where I don't want to interact with people. Wow. I don't want to interact with people. <laughs> Um, I would assume just uh, just just be in my uh, balled up position in a blanket and and close my eyes and, and dream away and take me away from reality. That that's how I get sometimes. And I don't know if if you suffer from de if you suffer from depression, what's your I mean, how do you what do you do? What what gets you through it? I guess this is all kinds of crooked. This seatbelt. What do you do 
um, to kind of help you get through it, I guess. I mean, are you, I mean, I, for me, I try to do it, uh, I try to deal with my depression other ways. I mean, obviously, some ways aren't healthy, like, uh, isolation, you know, not wanting to talk. One second, guys, I gotta pay the folks for my food. I got to pay for the food. Okay, so. Anyhow. <laughs> I've been wanting to talk about this for a while because it, it's been on my mind. I know a lot of people suffer from depression, excuse me, anxiety and all that. And I just wanted to let people know that they're not alone, that there's a lot of people in the world that suffer from this. And and as I was saying before, I had to pay for my, my second, second thank you. Oh. Did we get a receipt? We got back up. Because <clears throat> now we're sitting behind the parked car. I would like food, please. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I didn't get no fries, so can I have a nugget? <laughs> I'm awful. Hello. Oh! She gave me a fry. Is that dude like... Okay. <laughs> Let me turn the car around. Let me turn... I'm going to cut it. Look, and she comes out right as soon as I move. Nugget. I'm starving. Your mama is starving up here. She needs about five pounds. She gives me a fry. I say a nugget. Two fries. <laughs> <laughs> They're my nuggets. I paid. I'm a nice soul. Take two. Take. I should be oh, oh, I get two because three. I didn't look at the price of the fries. I do know the small ones are two dollars and nineteen cents. Uh -huh. Cha-ching! Well, anywho, let's talk about depression. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna give you a typical day when I feel depression coming on. Did I say that right? I'm going to share with you what I go through on a typical depression flare-up, I guess. Uh, depression flare-up. The day, like, when I first wake up, I, I can kind of already tell it's going to be, like, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I kind of can already tell it's going to be a ugh day. And usually those days it's not even a day it's a plural thing it, look depression doesn't last for a day uh depression is like a few days long sometimes longer some people it depends on the severity of their depression like my depression is moderate moderate i guess um so i like usually suffer i usually have like at least like three days, three or four days of just like, uh, I just don't want to interact, interact with anybody. I don't want to come out into the light, come out into the world. I, I retreat. Look, look, uh, my, 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 uh, astro sign or my uh, astrological sign is a cancer and we tend to like hide into our shells when, when the going gets tough, I guess the going gets tough or whatever. Oh, Emma, can I have another friend? Um, when the going gets tough, like, okay, for instance, we don't like conflict. Thanks, Emma. You're giving me a little... You're welcome. Now, give me some more. I told you I was starving. I'm hungry, too, girlfriend. <laughs> All right. Anywho. So... 
so depending on your severity, uh, depending on the severity of your depression, it's going to basically, I mean, I'm going to have to do a lot of editing here, folks. Basically, the severity of your depression is going to like basically lay out how long you're going to be depressed for, I guess. I don't know. Like mine's usually a few days long. I come out of the slump two or three days later. Then I'll, then I'll start to come out and, and interact and, and enjoy the light. Wow, it's hot up in here. I mean, come on. Oh, Emma feeding me. Okay, so like after a few days, I'm usually out of my shell. I'm conversing. I'm getting things done. But when I'm in those few days where I just don't want to face like people in general jo uh, tasks I need to do you know uh, those those few days are pretty tough and I don't get anything done and things just, I don't want to be bothered to, with depression and let me tell you it is so exhausting when you're depressed it's like you get so tired I don't know if it's just me but I feel super super tired when I'm sad like you know, I don't know if it's just from crying and stuff and you're just so, like exhausted from crying. I, I don't know. Oh, by the way, do you have s sad spells like where you just cry for no reason? Like, I could, okay, let me give an example. <laughs> I was doing something, I don't know, organizing something. When am I not organizing something? But I was doing that and I literally stopped in the middle of organizing and just literally bawled like a baby. Like I was five or six years old. Like I was back in my childhood and, and, and life was just so horrible and I just can't deal with it. Like you would have thought that someone had killed my dog. I mean, I just sat there and bawled my eyes out and I do that frequently, which is why I got puffy eyes a lot because I cry a lot. And by the way, <laughs> I don't know about you, I get headaches from crying. I mean, I'm like, God, could you give me a break? I just want to cry. Why do I have to have a headache? I just want to cry. I just want to cry. I don't know. Maybe it's just my sinuses, but and yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to lighten the, I'm trying to lighten the conversation up, bitch. Um. Anyways, so I just thought I thought I'd touch base on, on depression only because I've been going through it. I, I just went through another spell and it was just weighing on my mind and, I, and I'm sure somebody somewhere can resonate with this depression anxiety disorder disorders so to speak um, it's definitely not fun <laughs> but uh, we are going to head into Dollar Tree now and after that depressive talk we need some uh, right Emma we need some uh, Dollar Tree shopping joy. So we are gonna go ahead and head into Dollar Tree and let me pop my mask on because you know. Ah! A raisinette! The raisinette was on my pants. Guys, that's gonna definitely melt. Okay. I can't eat this. It's been sitting on my pants. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this in the trash. Uh... <laughs> I can't eat that. All right. We are going to go ahead. Oh, before I eat my hair. We will see you in the Dollar Tree. <laughs>
Just walked out of Dollar Tree. Busy. All the stores are busy today. Is there some kind of like natural catastrophe happening? Like why is everybody and their mother out today? But anywho, we are gonna go ahead and head home and uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed today's video and you had fun with the shot with me today. And oh my good. Cold chicken nugget, but I'll take it. Okay guys, we are now headed home for real. We had to make a little pit stop. We, we are headed home and hopefully you'll enjoy the ride with us. I, I try not to talk your ear off. I try to just turn the camera around and let you get the view of the ride home. But I cannot promise you that. Because your girl Tammy likes, why they wait till you're almost 70 before you can retire? I mean what, they just want you to work till you die? Ugh. Just work till you croak. So we don't have to pay for you. Okay, guys, serious question here. Do you think that we should be able to retire when we are, like, say, 50? Uh, me, personally, I would like to uh, be able to enjoy my life. Uh, I'm 44, almost 45. Uh, in June, I'll be 45. And I'm already feeling, when I get up from a kneeling position, uh, the time that it used to take for me to get up, versus the time it takes for me to get up now is, uh, I'm not going to say it's a huge difference, but look, I, I don't know why I got on a retirement conversation but, um, uh, with my daughter here. But she's, she's super smart. Uh, anywho, uh, we were talking and she was like, yeah, 65 is a good age to retire. It's when you're a senior, basically is what she said, and that's a good time to, to retire. And I said, you know what, Emma? No, it's not, because guess what? None of us is guaranteed 100 years on this earth. So I would rather retire when I'm 45, 50, versus 65, 75, or 65, 70, because I wanna still be young enough to enjoy my life without working. And you know what, this, this, is, this is another topic I guess I'm gonna talk about, is we work until we die. <laughs> it's like, okay, the first uh, 18 years of our life, we're in school, answering to a teacher. <laughs> but you're not making money. You are getting an education. So you go 18 years, you gotta go to school every day. You gotta, you gotta sit in a the classroom. Then once you turn 18, you gotta decide whether you wanna go to college. That means more school. It could be two years, four years, 10 years, 12 years, depends on what you wanna go to school for. And then, by the time you're 24, you're working until you're 64. That is 40 years of 
your life, you work away. You ever think about that, Emma? 40 years of one's life is worked away. If you start working fresh out of college, say 23, 24, you're going to work about 40 some years before you can retire. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. I Very upsetting to me, folks. Uh, I would prefer to retire at about 50, 55 would be a good age, I think, 50, 55. Because, like I said, once you, once you get over a certain age, you got... Let me tell you. <laughs> I crack in places I didn't think or know that I was capable of cracking. Okay? So, I would prefer to retire where I could still enjoy my life, not working my, my life away. That's all I'm saying. Now, we didn't have a, a, a very serious talk at McDonald's, but we're having one now on the way home. But back to what I was talking about before, the depression situation, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm here for you. Drop me a comment. I've been there. The whole depression thing, it, it, you can have mild, moderate to severe. I'm glad I'm not severe. <laughs> I'm mild to moderate, and I still have those chunk of days where it's like two or three days where I, guys, I don't even want to brush my teeth, wash my face, hop out of bed and see the sunrise. I mean, depression is awful. Um, I suffered from OCD from, from as far back as I can remember since I was at least fifth grade. Fifth or sixth grade. Is, I can remember that far back as to having this problem, this OCD issue. Now, they didn't give me a label back then. I just felt the anxiety that came with OCD. And I just knew it was off. But like I said, 80s babies, 90s babies didn't really, really talk about childhood anxiety and depression or mental illness. It's sad. It's so sad. My life would not be normal if I didn't have a down day. Right? Like, if I had a happy day every day of my a, a total 100% existence, I don't think I would believe that I was alive. I'd have to pinch myself because life is just that. It's it, it, You got some down days. You got some up days. You got some sunny days. You got some cloudy days. Life would not be life if you didn't have a few cloudy days with a chance of rain uh, but I, I I honestly depression depression to kick your butt though it would make you tired I mean mentally physically but anyways uh, I just pulled into my driveway I'm oh by the way Emma let me show them real quick we just got a few things at Dollar Tree uh, we got this sign for Memorial Day Oops, it's probably backwards I'll have to flip that around Oops. it's probably not backwards guys I'll flip it around when I edit um, a bouquet of flowers and okay and then we got this is all from the Dollar Tree we got some wash cloths from the Dollar Tree uh, some antibacterial hand wipes from the Dollar Tree a buki I said a buki kabuki brush kabuki brush from the Dollar Tree I figured why not do a haul just show you what we got at the Dollar Tree when we were there all right so we got some eyeshadow some this is a felt a slim felt tip liquid eyeliner okay let me tell you guys I don't use liquid eyeliner but I'm gonna try it because I like to line the top of my lids here and the pencil eyeliner doesn't necessarily give it a very defined line. It looks more like a smoky eye. I wasn't even trying to make it a smoky eye, but anyhow, I had anyways. Um next we got a smoky smoky liner eye brush. Um we also got some hydrating lipstick in the uh Mauve Glaze. It's hydrating lipstick with vitamin and aloe vera. Lip Duo Gloss Lipstick. Uh, we have here Twinkle. That's the that's the name Twinkle. It's a it doubles up as a lip gloss and a lipstick. All right. And then we have here. I just thought this was adorable. You got one for your foot and one for your for your hands. Um. Then we also have 
an eyeliner, a regular pencil eyeliner. So there we go. We got that from Dollar Tree Foods. That was our Dollar Tree haul, if you want to call it that. And then, of course, she got her scarf from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to say thank you so much for watching today's video and hanging out with me today. Um, I know it's not a D-I-T-L or day in the life. But pro I promise you, we're going to get to that. I just don't think I'm that interesting enough to do a D-I-T-L right now, day in the life of. I mean, I really don't have an interesting life. Uh, I don't have a lot going on in my life, folks. But if you're interested in me doing a D-I-T-L, a day in the life, let me know. Drop me a comment in the comment box. I mean, I'll take you on a day in my life. It's pretty boring. But I, I'll take you on that day in the life of mine. If, if that's truly what you want from me, I will give you a day in the life. All right. Well, with all that being said, I'm going to stop talking and get on out and look and go through all my uh, treasures that I got from Dollar Tree in Five Below. And enjoy the rest of my day. Well... Thanks for watching, and as always, I love all my subscribers, and if you're new, thank you so much for stopping by, and if you guys like today's video, don't be shy, give it a thumbs up before you leave, hit the like button, and if you're new, hit that lovely red subscribe button, join the family, I mean, hey, the more friends the merrier, I'd love for you to join the family and hang out with us more often, and also, um, every Friday, I try to post a video every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So every Friday I post a new video. Oh, no. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to get on out of here and head on inside. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a fabulous day. And I'll see you in the next.